During the skull training, our 25 participants were taken on a field trip to give them a first-hand experience of what is happening in terms of environmental degradation. This gave us the opportunity to interact with the village chief who expressed his views on unregulated artisanal small-scale mining and the effects it has on his community. During this trip, we also saw firsthand the environmental degradation by the practices of these unregulated small artisanal miners, such as they leave behind open shaft holes that endanger livestock and the people in the area. These holes collect water during the rain season, which cause health hazards as well as weaken the ground above them, endangering the people that walk around the area. Far more, they leave the land unusable for agricultural activities after. Mvelo, si azama, kutaka si sugumi ngenle la eyiyo. Si zye si e, haugelwa, namanya matona, ugutai, uze di pili, agere nze, tuwa i food for work. Si hambe si vala, unalama kwa si kriwa, si zye fina, e kaya kwenye. Yiru ngeto si ngati, salu piwa, wa si vlingo, nguti. Asizi <laughs> 
One of the key important areas that was of concern was the decimation of sacred grounds, such as grave sites, where communities would have laid their loved ones to rest that were being destroyed. Yeah, kuna kulema dikoto a mina yasa itinda mi nyabonti kulema alan parindo kona guti inteng peti olevo maenzi kosi olevo trees deni na sebe sebe nza so ngo na ngali suku go bo na gati suku ti la kongenye inteo ngai nza actually inteo ngai nti so futma ngai nza so inteo na nzire la ngabonti ai. Yakufuna sana mfuto kuti silungi sisi ni mnyama mapepa zisiwe la ma prospecting license sisi ni tosem tetuwe unguwe nzuri kuti la ngoma sebenza kubelu la hivyo so iko. The skull advocates were therefore tasked with formulating plans to conscientize the communities and the miners of the dangers of these activities and come up with sustainable solutions for the betterment of the environment and the future.